Hi, everyone. Welcome to Kiki and Kibbutz. Happy Felon Friday. It's Mary, and I'm here with this week's edition of Love After Lockup, A Life After Lockup, Love During Lockup, Word on the Street. So let's hop right in. So first off, I want to wish all the moms out there a happy, very belated, happy Mother's Day from the bottom of my heart. From this mom to all of you moms out there, happy belated Mother's Day. So I'm going to call this section the Monique and Devic shenanigans. So where we left off last week, Monique had published some texts where um, it showed a picture where Derek had busted her in the nose. Uh, all this back and forth that Monique was um, exaggerating the claims. Elizabeth was on live. On one point, at one point, Derek was on live on his phone on Instagram with Tasha K while Tasha K was live on her YouTube channel. I mean, it was all a hot mess express. So then I try to summarize everything the best I could last week. And it seemed like as soon as I logged off to take a bathroom break, there was more drama. Derek posted this video of basically Monique choking him out. They were arguing over the phone as usual and Monique choked him out. So you see here, this is Monique's defense. He was standing in front of the door and wouldn't let him out. Well, girl, I didn't hear you say in the video at any time, Derek, move out the way. Bitch, move out the way. Derek, bitch, move out the way. I didn't hear anything like that. All I heard was gurgling sounds coming out of Derek. Just saying, girl. And then she posted these, these texts back and forth, you know, take accountability. Okay. So now Derek, for his part, he posted this tribute to his mother for Mother's Day. And today he posted, he got his ankle bracelet taken off. Okay. Remember he had this assault charge and ankle bracelet put on. Well, it's been taken off. He is free. So, so far this week, it's been pretty quiet with the Derek and Monique shenanigans, okay? Um, Derek and um, Aubriana are going to be in um, Atlanta on May 27th, and Monique will be too far behind. She will be in Atlanta from May 21st to the 28th. So, if you want to book her, make sure you hit up her manager. And, um, oh, yes, Monique did a photo shoot. Check this out. Monique had a drink, and she did a photo shoot. Okay, and she says that you have to get a man that loves you enough to care about his actions and how they're going to affect your feelings. Good girl. Follow your own advice. While Derek says a person who loves you doesn't defend you while someone else slanders you. That, that person's your enemy too. Let me tell you, all this stuff makes my head spin. I don't know if it's because I'm an old white lady and I just can't wrap my mind around this, but uh, messy, messy, messy. And maybe it's just good that they're broken up. They just stay apart. Monique does her thing. Derek does his thing. And you know, and more power to him. That's all I have to say. Now, moving on to other Life After Lockup cast members. Happy, happy birthday to Taylor and Bobby. They celebrated their birthday because, you know, they are twins. And Taylor took her kids out to a fun kids park to celebrate her birthday. And if you haven't checked it out already, I did an interview with Bobby where we got into, you know, a little bit about her brother-in-law and what she thinks about things that happened during the season. If you haven't already, please check it out. And I'm going to dedicate this whole section to Mason because he is so damn cute. Look at those cheeks. Don't you just want to squeeze them repeatedly? 
Mocha is a big fat scammer. If you haven't checked it out already on the word on the street reality dot com parts one and two, Mocha is a big fat scammer in more ways than you know. But he is uh, subject to a gag order, which I don't quite understand why you would be subject to a gag order in a, Ugh, never mind. So Mocha says he is subject to a gag order. He is upset about everybody jumping on him. Even though they hate him, they love him. And he is jetting off to London. So Mocha is jetting off to London and check it out. He is in London and redemption will be his next month. So don't you worry, Montana Mills. Redemption will be yours and his. It says so right there. Redemption is upon us. June and June 2022. It says so right here. I cannot wait for June 2023. I'm sorry. June 2023. Hashtag redemption. So I guess next month, some sort of redemption. Not quite sure what they're referring to, but hey. Justine posted a throwback picture of her and Kylie, her very first Mother's Day. Look how young Justine looks in this picture. And Mike, he posted a bunch of tributes to Justine, to his mom. His children fill his heart with joy. And Mike also thinks that we should be reminded to be grateful, to wake up every day, and that we are truly blessed. Yes, Mike, I totally, totally agree. We should be reminded every day that we are truly blessed to live this life. And Mike also wants to remind everybody, if you need your credit score repair, he's the one that could help you. So DM him and give him your full name, address, social security number, date of birth, and mother's maiden name, and he will fix your credit score. DM him for details. Just saying, I personally wouldn't do it, but Mike is, you know, doing this credit repair business. You want results? Hit him up. Now, no shade at all. Mike's sister, Anne, is apparently on a weight loss journey and she is 30 pounds down. And I have to say, good for you, Anne. Good for you. She's doing it for herself and her health, and she is doing it the right way by eating healthier. And she's been posting recipes. Check it out. This I totally approve of. Doing something for yourself, doing something to be healthy, and doing something the right way. Not a quick fix, like a stupid purple drink, like someone from 90 Day Fiance. That's another story. Moving on. We have Eris. And her baby bump. I love her. Oh my goodness. And Lena. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day is all I have to say. And Cam just hanging out in the sun. I love these two. They may be boring and normal. But hey. I would rather have these two any day. Over Hot Mess Express Monique and Derek. And I'll say it for those who can't hear it in the back. I would rather have Eris and Cam over Monique and Derek any day. Just saying. Brittany celebrating Mother's Day with her children. Giambani, who has his own Instagram, is trying boba for the first time with his mom. Wow. Marcelino is in Vegas gambling. And when all else fails, you gamble. Lindsay is hanging out with Miley and having girl time and a locking lips with her love who sets her heart and her insides fire. Here we have Jada from the upcoming season of Love During Lockup and with her stinky dog. And this chick is always going somewhere. Every time I look at her story, she's in a different state. Jessica, from the last season of Love During Lockup, is going to get that horrible tattooed, tattoo on her stomach covered up. 
If you have any suggestions on what she should do, drop them in the comments because she is going to do it. Like she should have never did this in the first place. She realizes it was a huge mistake and she's going to get it covered up. If you have any suggestions, drop them in the comments. By the way, Dustin is finally in custody. If you have not heard, check out all the details on wordonthestreetreality.com. Also, speaking of being back in custody, Gabby's ex, Chris, was rearrested for selling drugs to an undercover agent. Check it out. He had a court date. I'll get details. I'll get back to you guys. But he was rearrested. And that's a probation violation, dude. Just saying. Looks like he may be in for a lot of trouble. And mothers, more Mother's Day pictures. We have Indy with her girls. And speaking of moms, the ultimate life after lockup, love after lockup mom, we have Mama Yolanda, Indy's mom, chilling, looking beautiful. And she was chilling, looking beautiful on my channel the night before Mother's Day. And we were talking about Indy and she was sharing stories. And if you haven't checked it out, you should check it out. And speaking of Indy and Mama Yolanda, we have Lydia, Harry's sister, and Lydia's a great mom herself. We have Ty celebrating Mother's Day with her girls. And on Mother's Day, I did an unexpected interview with Tia. Yes, as in Nicole and Tia, but Nicole wasn't there. Tia's brother was there. If you haven't checked it out, you should check it out. It was very interesting to say the least. Tia wants everyone to know that she's doing well. Please check it out. Listen to what she has to say. And then Nicole went and did an interview on Gio Malik's channel. I'm sure you guys know who Gio is. I'll drop the link to the um, interview in the description box. Well, Tia's version of what's going on and Nicole's version of what's going on are very different. So I did an article, please check it out, wordonthestreetreality.com. And it's basically two stories, two different lives. And I think they both need to get on the same page. Just saying, check it out for all the details. Lizzie celebrating Mother's Day. And she's so happy that she was able to repair her relationship with her daughter. Because as you see in the caption, she said two years ago, her daughter wasn't in her life because of her um, alcoholism, but she was able to repair that. And I've actually tried to ask Lizzie if she would sit down to do a, a um, interview with me. And she says that she's really busy. She has three jobs and a bunch of things going on in her life. So it looks like she's doing really well. And I just wish her all the best. I just love following her and just seeing her looking really healthy. Now, do you guys remember Tiffany as in Kevin's actual inmate, Tiffany? Well, look at her. She's looking great. And we have Kayla. And as we all know, even though we may love our co-workers to death, you know, thank God it's Friday so we can celebrate the weekend. And would it be an addition of Word on the Street without a little bit of Shane and Lacey? And we have Shane stretching it out and going with the workflow. Good for you, Shane. And it wouldn't be word on the street without Mandy and Maurice. And all I have to say, Mandy, is I really hope your Mother's Day present weren't stolen. And it wouldn't be word on the street without Jessica's adorable little boy. And I'm going to call this section Heather Shenanigans. And unfortunately, if I had to see it, guys, you had to see it. Happy birthday to Garrett. Happy prom to Kayla's niece. And Tyrese, I think this blue sweatsuit looks much better than the blue suit on the, on the show. Just saying, all love. You know I have love for you. 
but I like this blue sweatsuit much better. Much better fitting. Love the sneakers. So, Andrea, she has two kids in college. Girl, I feel you. And the empty nest syndrome. So she has Tennyson and Nyla. They go to the same school on the same campus. And she's talking about how, you know, people mistaken them for twins, even though they're not twins. So cute. And we have Quaylon wondering why he thinks he just seen an op. I don't know, Quaylon. Why do you think you just seen an op? Glorietta, my girl. I just have to say, I am so proud of her. Ever since we went live on Instagram and we had a talk about shaking off toxic people like Josh Sider, she has stuck to it. She has been posting anything but Josh to her stories. And I am so damn proud of her. She actually listened to my advice. Unlike some people in my real life, my goodness, someone that is actually listening to my advice. And she is just posting anything, anything but Josh. Because, you know, Josh is a piece of shit. Because last week, he decided that he wanted to humiliate and embarrass her by posting this no-filter selfie, which I think she looks fine. Filtered, unfiltered, whatever she wants to put up. She could put up whatever the fuck she wants to, but he felt the need to embarrass and humiliate her. So I did my video and I didn't even realize that he deleted it because after I did my video and I was getting ready to upload it, I decided to go look on his story again and poof, it was gone, but I already screenshot it. So I DM'd him and look at my message. I asked him to please not message me again, but I have a little secret, guys. He did, and he did the dirty delete before I had a chance to open them. He messaged me twice. I saw I had two unread messages from Josh Sider, and then when I went to go read them, they were gone. Josh, stay the fuck out of my DM. Thank you. So if you haven't already, please check out my article on wordonthestreetreality.com where Glorietta is shaking off toxic POSs like Josh Sider. Check it out for all the details. And if you guys want a little crossover action, on this Felon Friday, because I know we're all going into love after lockup and life after lockup, love during lockup withdrawals with Mama June on TV. You could check out my article with mug shops and lingerie. Check out who works in Molly Hopkins shop. There's a whole bunch of mug shots there. Okay, so a little crossover action. So have a great weekend, guys. Happy Felon Friday. And, um, you know, I'm just a little princess with major, major anger issues. But hey, aren't we all? Thank you so much for watching me. Please hit subscribe if you haven't already. Please hit that like button and share my video with a friend or 10. Have a great weekend, everybody. Happy Felon Friday. See you next time. Bye.